أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة
the feeling of taqwa, the feeling of fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their hearts and to repress the fervor of their lusts and wounds. Consequently, they shall attain the benefits and advantages of the spiritual experience in all fields, social, moral, and health. For this reason, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala included the aforementioned verse with لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may have taqwa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being the all merciful, being al rahim being the all kind, has made it easy for Muslims to fast the month of Ramadan. Firstly, brothers and sisters in Islam, he pointed out that fasting, being a form of ibadah, a form of worship, was not decreed as an obligatory duty upon man for the first time. Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had prescribed it before for others, for other nations before us. In this regard, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, as it was prescribed for those before you that you may become al muttaqun Having known that, the Muslim shall feel more comfortable in accepting the obligation and be encouraged and strive to practice fasting at its best. Secondly, brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referred to the month of Ramadan as ayyaman ma'adudat, a fixed number of days that are fasted consecutively and finished quickly. Think about this. Think about this month of fast or to feed and his key, the poor person for every day that is missed. Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhumah, commented on this verse saying the meaning of which if it, this ayah is not abrogated it is for the old who cannot fast um, the same is applied to the terminally ill people the pregnant and nursing women if they fear that harm will befall the baby or when they fast or if they are afraid for themselves they may break their fast and make up for the days they miss later. Fourthly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the month of Ramadan a month of worship, a month of ibadah in which all forms of worship are practiced. It is then a time for the believers to increase to increase his reward by doing every form of worship permissible, such as reciting the Quran, doing the adhkar, praying more salah, increasing in dua, and so forth. All Muslims worldwide, from many different origins, nationalities, the poor and the rich, come together to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intensively in this month, this month of Ramadan in the villages, in the cities, in the country, in every house, in every tent Ramadan is being lived, Ramadan is being experienced there shall be no differences, no chaos and no pride in one's opinion. Everyone is fasting in the month of Ramadan. And which the sacred book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Quran was revealed to the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fifthly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it permissible for husbands and wives to resume their sexual life after sunset. As well as to eat and drink. People, go, people can still enjoy their food and their spouses whether they slept before breaking that or not. In the beginning people are not allowed to eat, drink, 
or have sexual intercourse if they had slept before breaking their fast after sunset. This has caused a lot of hardship for some of them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easier for them and allowed them to satisfy their hunger, their thirst, and their desire throughout the whole night in Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in this regard, it is made lawful for you to have sexual relations with your wife on the night of the night of the sun, on the night of fasting. This and other issues demonstrate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it, has made this obligation easier to fulfill. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِكُمُ الْيُسْفِ وَلَا يُرِيدُ لِكُمُ الْعُسْفِ وَلِتُكْمِلُ الْعِبْدَةِ وَلِتُكَبِّرُ اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah intends for you ease and He does not want to make it difficult for you. He wants that you must complete the same number of days and that you magnify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to kabbir Allah, to say the takbir Allah Akbar for having guided you so that you may be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Barakallahu alayhi wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Azim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bima fihi min al-ayat wa al-dhikr al-Hakim أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد عباد الله أوصيكم الله وصيام الفاسق was first decreed as mandatory form of worship in the second year of Hijrah, second year of the migration of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away, he had fasted nine months of Ramadan. Fasting, your brothers and sisters in Islam, is to abstain from eating, drinking, sexual intercourse, and whatever they entail, with a pure niyyah, intention, for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, from the break of dawn until sunset. Moreover, fasting becomes more perfect and complete if the prohibitions in general and the sins are also averted. In this regard, the Prophet said that مَنْ لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةً فِي أَنْ يَدَعْ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ the Prophet وسلم, said, Allah does not need someone to abstain from eating and drinking while at the same time he is involved in lying and carrying out falsehood or nonsense. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the Muslim must receive this great month happily and gratefully. While praising and thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with full readiness and a pure intention to practice all forms of worship in this month of Ramadan. He must look forward to spending the days of this month fasting and reciting the Quran and the night spring supplicating and invoking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to give glad tidings of the events of Ramadan to his companions saying, this, shahr, this month of Ramadan has come about. It is a month of blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has agreed to be mandatory upon you to fast in his days. In it, the gates of heaven are open. The gates of hell are closed. The devils are chained. In it, there is a night that is better than a thousand months 
Whatever is deprived from its goodness is indescribably deprived. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to deprive us from his goodness and to bestow upon us the virtues of his blessed night, the Layla al Qadr. Ibad Allah, in the Khair al Hadith, Kitab Allah, a Khair al Hadith, the Muhammad and Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a Shabbat Umur in the Tatuha, a Kulla Muhammad in Bidah, a Kulla Bidah in Walala, a Kulla Walala in Finna. أَلَا وَصَلُّوا عَلَى مَنْ أَنَا رَبُّ رَبُّكُمْ بِالصَّلَاةِ عَلَيْهِ فَقَالَ تَعَالَى إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد ورضى الله عن أربعة الخلفاء الأئمة الخلفاء أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن بقية الصحابة أجمعين وعن التابعين وتابعين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم ذل الشرك والمشركين والكفر والكافرين ودمر أعداءك على أتين يا رب العالمين اللهم تقبل منا صيامنا وقيامنا اللهم تقبل منا صيامنا وقيامنا اللهم اجعلنا ممن قام من صام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا اجعلنا ممن قام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا ربنا أدم لنا نورنا وفر لنا إنك على كل شيء قدير ربنا لا تآخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار وصلي اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه وسلم عباد الله اقيموا الصلاه